The heads of the three major auto companies drove up in alternative fuel vehicles in a renewed push to convince Congress to approve a bailout. We're here today because we made mistakes, which we're learning from, because some forces beyond our control have pushed us to the brink. And while they blame the recession and the lack of credit for their current situation, they also acknowledge their old business approach was flawed. We produce more vehicles than our customers wanted and then slash prices, hurting the residual values of those vehicles and hurting our customers. Now we are aggressively matching production to meet the true customer demand. The head of the UAW warned that without the money, GM could go out of business by month's end. A major parts supplier said that could kick off a terrible chain reaction. Once cascading supply chain interruptions begin, many suppliers will fail due to the interdependence of that supply chain. In the two weeks since their last appearance here, the industry's loan request has jumped from $25 billion to $34 billion. What changed and why should we should believe these, uh, that things will get better as our economy continues to contract. And several senators wondered if the auto industry needs more money than they're asking for. $34 billion is, is probably just the beginning, is that correct? I think that's a high probability. All the automakers stress they will repay the loans with interest within a few years. They just need the money to get through the current economic weakness. But they face a rough and uncertain road. The White House opposes the bailout. Surveys show that most Americans don't like it. And Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid says there aren't enough votes right now to get it through Congress. Harry Bodlander, The Associated Press, Capitol Hill.